What is going on everybody? My name is Pete, but you probably already knew that, but in case you didn't, you guys are watching the one and only Paid to Drive, and of course, Paid to Drive Vlogs coming at you with another new video. I hope you're all doing great out there. So if you drive for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, or any of the others, you, my friends, are in the right place to stay up to date with what is going on in the gig economy. So get started right now for free. Hit that red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever I post something new. And of course, don't forget to hit that like button down below. It just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job and let's jump on into this. Here we go. So I've been really enjoying, uh, you know, putting your feedback out there, guys. Um, and, you know, so because let's put it this way, you guys leave comments, I can reply to them, I can like them, heart them, whatever. But a lot of people don't, actually read what you're saying. So I'm trying to put out your feedback to maybe help some other people. So this one is in regards to uh, a bunch of restaurants that are now now starting to incorporate their own hired delivery drivers, kind of like a Domino's or a Papa John's kind of a deal. Uh, and they're getting rid of using dashers and other gig economy workers because they feel like we're not efficient enough. So this is what you guys had to say about it. Joseph Lyle said, Everything is what it is. Take the good with the bad. Eventually, DoorDash is going to take declining orders out of the equation. As independent contractors, they can't deactivate us. But there is nothing that says that we that they have to send them to us, I don't think. I try to stay at least in the 60% range and I pick my battles. If I see a $5, an easy $5 order for two miles, I'll likely take it and save that decline for another crappier order. Now, that's just how Joseph does things, but not everybody is going to do it that way. Uh, Abe Lucas said, I feel like a fast and furious DoorDash racer just to deliver on time, maybe early. Sometimes I get tired of all that rushing. Enough is enough. They never provide adequate time. I've had merchants complain to me that they only get 10 minutes to have the order ready, no matter what, even when they're super busy. David LaRosa says, if restaurants hire their own drivers, won't they have to pay them at least minimum wage, which would probably be more, which is an interesting concept in and of itself, David. So good on you for that one. Uh, Abe Lucas also left a comment saying, I think and I hope we're still good for another year and a half before everything hits the fans. Fan, keep your fingers crossed. I think we have a little bit more time than that, Abe, but interesting concept. Scotty75 said, one of the major problems right now in my market is that some places are closing the dining area, such as Burger King, Arby's, and such, and or limiting workers. So now we have to wait twice as long at a drive through to pick up orders in the restaurants in line. Very true. I, this is not the first time I've heard that, Scotty. Uh, Julie's Fab Fine says... The fast food places in my area are having a hard enough time getting workers to work so that so they can work their total hours and or have their lobby open. This has also been another thing that's been going on lately because of all the unemployment and stuff. But in most states, the unemployment has run out. So you'll see how fast people start running back to jobs when they realize they don't have any income. Uh, AX says some Chick-fil-A's in Phoenix already have the little Chevy Sparks with their little cow pattern on them for in-house deliveries. And they only do up to five miles radius from the restaurant. Where, as you guys know, with DoorDash, they can send you as far as they want, you know? So we all know how that goes. Uh, Paul Gonzalez Jr. says, it doesn't really affect me because I only do DoorDash on my days off from my other job. That being said, the Chick-fil-A usually takes too long on my deliveries anyway. So that brings up an interesting question too. How many of you guys are only doing this kind of work part-time and how many of you guys are doing it full-time? So let me know in the chat or the comments if you're part-time or full-time. Uh, and finally, Tiffany Massey says, if restaurants hire their own drivers, it might benefit them. I made a mistake and took a McDonald's order that was eight miles. I passed two McDonald's while driving to the customer. Not sure, not sure what's going on, but this seems to be happening a lot lately. And Tiffany, honestly, you are not the only one that's experiencing that. For some reason or another, it just seems like, like a lot of these orders that are coming in could be from restaurants that are closer to the customer, but 
depending on how they have the app set up, depending on how they filter their results, the customer I'm talking about, will determine a lot of times which, or, which restaurant they're ordering from. It is very frustrating. I will definitely say that. So my question to everybody is, do you think these restaurants should still keep cutting us off as dashers? Or do you think that's going to hurt us in the long run? Because I know a lot of drivers, a lot of dashers out there aren't too fond of doing the fast food pickups. So for them, this could be a good thing. For other drivers, it could be a bad thing. So let me know in the chat or the comments. Do you think this is good or bad? Let me know. And if you guys ever have anything you want to send me for a video, feel free to contact me through email at paid to drive stories at gmail.com. That information's in the description down below of all my videos. And uh, if you want a quicker response, you can always message me through Patreon at patreon.com slash paid to drive. Link is in the description or in the pin top comment on every single video. And every, everyone who signs up, I give you guys shout outs in all my new videos. So when you hear your name called in the chat or the comments, say, hey, Pete, I heard my name. We've got the very generous Ari Rosenbaum, our $100 ultimate driver. Thank you so much, Ari. And the very generous Samantha Michaels, Brian Pomeroy, Brian Medina, Heidi Barnes, Ivan Jerome Gilroy, Joe Valerio, Angela Counts McCarty, Kurt Paul, Lee Peacock, Tulsa Todd, William Boudreaux, Laura Love, Agus, Tom Perry, Alan G. Van Horn, Lawrence Brown, Drew Hanor, Fernando Carranza, Frank Haviland, Fresh One, Jason Casta, Justin Case, Lulu Laura, Natalie Mosley, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, Joyce Hine, Brian Richardson, Kenny Best, Ginny Thomas, uh, John Bonacci, Matt Epperson, Nick G, Stacey Miller, Terrence Pacheco, and of course, Valerie Brown. So huge shout outs to all of you, my friends. So with that being said, if you want to sign up, links, of course, in the description or the pinned top comment. And also, everybody, if you have not signed up yet, not just for Patreon, but for Get Upside, the free gas app to save money at the gas pump, please make sure all of you guys are using this app. Link is in the bottom of the description down below. And every single one of my videos, you sign up for free on your smartphone. Any kind of phone will do. Uh, go to your gas station, pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside gas app, and within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. Links in the description down below. Make sure to download it today. All right, and with that being said, if you guys want one of these awesome I Deliver t-shirts, you can get one of your own at paytodrivestore.com where everything is on sale every single day, so make sure to go check that out. We have lots of different designs, colors, sizes, you name it. We probably have it at paytodrivestore.com. Go check it out. And if you made it to the end of this video, I'm very grateful for all of you. Leave a comment right now saying end 600, end 600. Just lets me know you made it to the end of the video. Don't forget to hit that free red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications so you're always notified every time I post something new. And of course, don't forget to hit that like button down below. It just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. So until next time, get that money, get that honey, keep hustling and keep bustling. And we'll see you next time right here on Paid to Drive and Paid to Drive Vlogs. And as always, drive safe, be well, and we'll see you on the next one.